Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, alhamdulillahi, wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulillah. Today, at Maghrib time, we began the 16th day of Ramadan. So half of the month is gone. Now we have, bithinillah azawajal, another half to go. It was at this point that the companions, Ridwanullahi alayhim, they would start to do the qunut prior to today, when Umar radiallahu anhu put the companions behind one Imam, Ubay ibn Kaab radiallahu anhu, from the first day to the 15th day of Ramadan, they wouldn't make any qunut. But when tonight came, they started to make the qunut, which goes to show from many things, the last part of Ramadan is not like the first part. The companions started to do more so we have to evaluate ourselves. What did we do and what can we do better? And what remains of the month of Ramadan, inshallah, I want to share with you a hadith of the Prophet sallam to keep in front of you. And there are many a hadith. He says, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in giving direction and instruction to this ummah, لا تحقرون شيئا من المعروف Do not consider anything that is ma'roof. Anything that is khair, don't look at it as being insignificant. Any small thing, don't you look at it as being insignificant. Because it may be insignificant to you or to someone else who's looking at it, but with Allah Azawajal, it can be that thing that gives a person in, not only to Jannah, but Jannah to Firdos. He says, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Sabaqa, Dinar, Mi'ata alf dinar. One pound outweighed 100 pounds. They said, how is that, Ya Rasulullah? How can one pound outweigh 100,000? He said, there were two men. One man, he had a lot of money, a billion pounds. So he gave 100,000 in sadaqah. And there was another man, he only had two pounds, two dinars. That's all he had was two. He kept one for himself, and he gave the other one in sadaqah. So the one who gave one pound, because of his situation, his circumstances, the dynamics going on with him, his one pound outweighed that man's 100,000 because what he did was more difficult. What he did was more difficult. The sacrifice he made was greater. So the hadith, لا تحقرن شيء من المعروف For the rest of Ramadan, inshallah, don't look at anything as being insignificant. Anything that you can do. For an example, some people get up and they leave. And you're in the back row. Don't let that space stay there and someone else occupies it instead of you. Because he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the best step that you can take is the step in which you step up to the next line. And whoever steps up to the next line, Allah will bring his affairs together. His children are going crazy. He has to get the exam. He wants to get a job, this, that, that. One of the ways your affairs can be connected is by simply stepping up to the next line and connecting the rope. So there's another hadith. He mentioned, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, ittaqullah Fear the hellfire even if it's with half of a date. So we got these dates all around us. Ittaqullah walaw bi shak tamra. Fear the hell fire even with half of a date. How do you do that? The date is on the floor, insignificant. You leave it on the floor, the mouse come and get it, the rat come and get it, the, the, the roaches come and get it. You say, no, I'm going to pick it up and I put it with the other dates. I'm going to pick it up and clean it off. I'm going to eat it. But I'm not going to leave the ni'mah of Allah on the floor like that. And because of that, him appreciating the ni'mah of Allah, he feared the hell fire with half of a date. That's one way it can be understood. Another way. What was collected by Al-Bukhari and Muslim? A poor lady came to Aisha's house. Radiallahu anha. She had two daughters. One on the right, one on the left. She knocked on the door of Aisha. She said to Aisha when she came, we are poor, can you help us out? Aisha said, stay there, be right back. She went inside of the house looking for something. She didn't find anything except one date. She said in the house of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, three hilals would come and go 
and all they had to eat was dates and water. And that's how poor they were. Some of us complain about, oh, we're fasting and the hours are so long. Prophet Muhammad's family, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, used to seem like they were fasting on a continuous basis. She came out with one date. That's all she had. She gave the one date to the lady, to the mother. The mother looked at the girl on the right, looked at the girl on the left. She broke the date in half, gave one to her, gave one to her, and left. She told the Prophet what happened when he came, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Prophet told Aisha, that date that you gave that lady is going to be a hijab for the mother because of what she did for her kids, the sacrifices. That date is going to be a hijab for that mother from the hellfire. And that date is going to be a hijab for you from the hellfire. One date that was split in half is a hijab for Aisha and a hijab for the lady. So that goes to show what we're telling you. Don't look at anything that is ma'roof as being insignificant. So in concluding, after a person prays the five prayers, the Prophet used to say, La ilaha illallah 100 times. He used to say a dua 100 times. La ilaha illallah is a heavy statement. Yom al qiyamah the slave will come, it will be put in the scale. La ilaha illallah here, all of what he did from haram over here. And la ilaha illallah is going to outweigh it. So you can't tell me la ilaha illallah is not heavier than one date to make the dhikr 10 times, 100 times, to give dawah to it, to educate your people about it, call your relatives to it, so forth, so on. That dua that he mentioned, so many duas, ayat al kursi, you're not going to tell me that it's heavier than one date to memorize it, to make mention of it. So in concluding, Khwani, another half of Ramadan is a friend of us, insha'Allah, don't consider anything that's ma'roof as being insignificant. Break the fast of people, not with one date, but the food you give them, it's going to be heavy in the mizan, and so forth and so on. Be patient. People come and they ask you for money every day. Can we get some money? Can we get some money? Don't be of the people who say, oh, another guy you're asking for money. Don't be like that. Fear the hell fire with half of a date. All you got is a pound? Give them a pound. Give them five pounds. Give them whatever you can give. But don't be like those people. Oh, another guy asking for money. That's the nature of Ramadan, is that we give sadaqah fi sabirillah in this month more than any other month. So I hope my dua that I'm going to make for you right now, inshallah, is heavier in the scale than one day. Ask Allah Azzawajal by his greatest name to forgive us for the mistakes we made in this previous Ramadan, the previous nights, and to make the next 15 days, inshallah, the next days that we're going to have Ramadan, days that are going to cause us to be happy, inshallah, yawmul qiyamah. Hada wa sallallahu sallam barik ala nabiyin al-kareem.